10 Celebrities That Can't Stand Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres is notoriously one of the kindest people in Hollywood. With her own talk show and millions of dollars to spend, Ellen is known for her generosity and kindness towards other people. She has featured many ordinary heroes on her show and has donated millions to charity. So how can anyone not love her? Well, apparently, Ellen is not as nice and kind as everyone thinks she is. Rumors started to arise that the talk show host is actually very mean-spirited, and everyone in Hollywood knows that. So with this list, let's take a look at the top 10 celebrities who can't stand Ellen DeGeneres. Do you want a personal shout out in our next video? Quick, be the first comment in the section down below and you will receive a shout out in the next Mr. Gossip video. Number 10, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is one of the world's most famous and popular transgendered women. Formerly known as Bruce Jenner, the now Caitlyn is not only an Olympic runner, but she was also married to Kris Jenner and is the father of Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Her sudden transitioning made headlines all over the world, and one person that seemed to be very supportive at first was Ellen. But as time went by, the pair realized that they have more differences than similarities. Ellen, being an openly gay lesbian, has been an advocate for equal marriage rights for decades. She herself is married to actress Portia de Rossi. After Caitlyn transitioned, Ellen thought the former runner would be more open to gay marriage, as Jenna was now part of the LGBTQ community. Surprisingly, Caitlyn has never been an advocate for gay rights and marriage, and has stated to be a conservative. Ellen herself went on to The Howard Stern Show and expressed her feelings about the whole Caitlyn Jenner situation. Take a look yourself. I don't fully understand all of that but I want her to be happy, which is what I want for her, for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, it I, just it doesn't make sense that yeah. someone wouldn't even understand that. I, yeah. I, I... Number nine, Kelly Ripper. Kelly Ripper, just like Ellen DeGeneres, has been a face of morning talk show TV for years and decades now. First appearing in 1983, the talk show host is known to have many co-stars along her side. One pair that had excellent chemistry and likability amongst audiences was Kelly Ripper and football player Michael Strawn. The pair began co-hosting in 2012, and things seemed to be running smoothly, until Michael suddenly left the show in 2016. Everyone was shocked by the sudden departure, especially his co-star, Kelly. So what does Ellen have to do with this messy situation? Well, when Ellen invited Strawn to appear on her show in October of 2017, Kelly Ripper was reportedly not too pleased. According to sources, Ripper thought cozying up with Michael was like telling the world she had taken his side and was taunting Kelly. It's no surprise that the morning talk show host was furious with Ellen's decision, but apparently DeGeneres realized her mistake soon after the show aired and apologized to Kelly. Number 8. Kathy Griffin One might assume that female comedians should stick together and support one another in order to survive the male-dominated entertainment industry, but when it comes to Kathy Griffin and Ellen DeGeneres, that couldn't be further from the truth. Redhead Kathy is widely known for her outspoken mouth and very controversial standpoints. She has been involved in numerous celebrity dramas and feuds, which she has all later transcribed into her book, Celebrity Run-Ins, My A to Z Index. From the Kardashians to Miley Cyrus, most A-listers were noted in the book, and Ellen DeGeneres is no exception. While the redhead didn't mention DeGeneres by name, she did describe her as the short, blonde talk show host. I'm almost positive a certain beloved daytime talk show host once had me kicked out of a backstage dressing room at the Emmy Awards, said Griffin. Apparently, Ellen is so mean that all of Hollywood knows it. In a rebuttal, Ellen called Kathy very mean in a magazine interview, confirming that these two do not get along. Number 7. Wendy Williams We can't speak about outspoken people and not mention the infamous talk show host Wendy Williams, known as the Shade Queen. Wendy is never shy to express her true feelings and thoughts about certain celebrities and famous people. With her talk show, Williams has several segments dedicated to bashing and shading celebrities. And Ellen is often the subject of discussion behind the scenes. Even though Wendy has been a guest on Ellen numerous times, the dynamic between the two talk show hosts has never been the best. Their interactions are often described as cold and lifeless, and both ladies don't have a problem hiding their disinterest. Wendy even threw shade after she lost and Ellen won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Daytime Talk Show Host. Number 6. Joan Rivers 
Speaking of comedians not supporting one another, Joan Rivers is probably one of the most famous female comedians in history. The New York native first started doing stand-up in the 1950s and has made huge strides for female entertainers and comedians all over the world. If it wasn't for Joan, Ellen and similar comedians may not have been on our TV screens. But when it comes to Joan and Ellen's feud, Kathy Griffin also has a part in it. In her book, My Celebrity Run-Ins, Kathy describes how her feud with Ellen stemmed from DeGeneres not liking Joan Rivers. The late iconic comedian and Kathy Griffin were great friends, and they would often share their experiences with celebrities, including Ellen. Apparently, Ellen never appreciated Joan Rivers and what she has done for female driver entertainment. Kathy describes in one chapter, where are you with Ellen? And she'd be like, ugh, still hates me. And she'd go, well, what about you? And I'd say, oh, she thinks I'm mean. I guess Ellen just simply does not get along with funny females and successful comedians. Number five, Pierce Morgan. Another truly outspoken and controversial person on our list who can't stand Ellen is Pierce Morgan. The British journalist and morning show co-host has always been very vocal and outspoken about his questionable points of view and opinions. Pierce has bashed many celebrities over the years, from Lady Gaga to Adriana Grande. No celebrity is safe from his harsh words, and Ellen is one of those celebrities Pierce simply can't stand. Morgan has called Ellen a hypocrite after her controversial tweet. DeGeneres has been accused of objectifying celebrities on numerous occasions, and during her People's Choice Awards acceptance speech, she displayed a photo of shirtless Chris Hemsworth. Pierce said how he was disgusted by this. The journalist is so open about his feelings towards the American talk show host, he even shaded her on live television. Take a look yourself. Ricky Gervais should host the Oscars, let's be honest. Mm. Ricky Gervais should be parachuted in Ellen. and just rip them all to pieces. Who? Ellen. I'm so ridiculous. Number four, Drew Barrymore. It's almost impossible not to love the Hollywood A-lister and sweetheart, Drew Barrymore. The actress has been appearing on the big screen ever since childhood, and she has made a name for herself by being one of the most rebellious and talented actresses. And even Drew is extremely kind and sweet in real life, and she had a hard time getting along with Ellen DeGeneres. The successful pair decided to launch a TV show called First Dates in 2017. The show was produced by Ellen and was narrated by Drew, and even though the reality show had everything in order to be a success and a hit, the dynamic behind the scenes ruined its potential. According to sources, these ladies had trouble getting along behind the curtains. Their relationship was described as oil and water. Ellen expected to be the one calling the shots, but Drew thinks she should have had the creative control because she's the movie star people are tuning in to see. Needless to say, their relationship never truly recovered after 2017. Number 3. Susan Sarandon The Academy Award-winning actress Susan Sarandon also makes it on our list. The legendary actress is known to be one of the most vocal and open figures in Hollywood. Susan is never too shy to voice her concerns or even take part in discussions and feuds. So let's see just why the iconic actress simply can't stand Ellen DeGeneres. In 2019, a photograph of Ellen sitting next to the former US President George W. Bush was released. The picture was taken at an NFL game in Dallas and it sparked major controversy all over social media. The pair was noted to be having a lot of fun together, laughing and chatting along during the game. But why exactly is it such a bad thing? Well, George W. Bush is often called a war criminal for his military decisions and attacks. And while Ellen has defended her friendship with the former president by stating that she often gets along with people with different values and beliefs, it wasn't Bush's beliefs that sparked the drama. In the words of Susan Sarandon, DeGeneres framed the issue as simply a matter of her hanging out with someone with different opinions not a man repeatedly accused of being a war criminal. Number 2. Mark Ruffalo Another big Hollywood celebrity that had an issue with Ellen and Bush's friendship was Mark Ruffalo. The Incredible Hulk is widely known for his generosity and passion for environmental and global change. Mark is one of those rare people in the entertainment industry who has never been the face of controversy or drama, so it came as a shock when he expressed his feelings towards this particular case. After the whole situation sparked major Twitter feuds, Mark decided to have his two cents in the matter and replied to a comment made by Vanity Fair. His tweet might seem to have a very harsh and mean tone, but if we consider the fact that Ruffalo is very anti-war, then it's completely understandable. Number 1. Dakota Johnson And finally, let's talk about Dakota Johnson, the actress who single-handedly started the hate bandwagon against Ellen DeGeneres. 
Unlike all the other celebrities on our list, Dakota has never said a bad word against the talk show host, but instead, it's the things she said on The Ellen Show that revealed her true colors. Dakota appeared on the show in November 2019, and the interview immediately started on an uncomfortable note. After Ellen accused Dakota of not inviting her to her birthday, the actress quickly corrected her mistake, stating that DeGeneres was in fact invited. Watch this awkward clip and tell me you don't feel uncomfortable with the interview. All we can say is that shots were fired that day, which soon became a trending topic on Twitter. How was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. And with that, we end today's video. What do you think about Ellen DeGeneres? Do you believe she is secretly a mean girl? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us.